The Collected welcomes you. Show countdown engaged. You now have 110 seconds to prepare yourself. Begin program. What's up, everyone? With the Eclectic Collective or ECPC TV. TV. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you got it right. You are one illiterate piece of <laughs> hey, crap. Hey, man, at ICC, I had to say that like 7 so, billion yeah, times because it wasn't this just, guy hurt his knee. It wasn't just that. It was, we are the ECPC TV at ICCCC. <laughs> oh, man, I had like... But yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. We are alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> we are podcast. We are podcasting we are podcasting again. Yay. It feels so good to be this yeah. is our person. First, first in person. Oh, well, not con in person. Non con in person podcast. <laughs> so it feels good to be back. Yes, it um, does. feels really good. We're gonna be talking um the Marvel Universe and how we feel that it's going so far, WandaVision, Falcon Winter Soldier, and Loki. Mm-hmm. So spoilers if you have not yes. seen the WandaVision. Yes, Falcon and Winter Soldier, Soldier and Loki. Loki. Please go watch. Go, stop. Go, yeah, this, stop the show. Go watch them, then come back. Um, and how we feel, and some, you know, of course, some theories and what we feel and all that um, yeah. out there. Uh, we also have a young in joining us here. Hello. That's a, that, that's a good, good way to introduce What's yourself. Your name? Oh, My name is Stilling Zorman. I'm the son of Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Zorman, son of Matthew. I like it. Of Asgard. Next, next T-shirt. <laughs> of Asgard. Do you hold Mjolnir or Stormbreaker? <laughs> Descendants of Mount Juliet. <laughs> um, he's got some theories too. Um, let's uh, let's start Wandavision because okay. we haven't really talked. One. I mean, we dabbled the first two or three episodes. So, yeah. yeah, but now we've consumed the whole thing. We've consumed so. it all. Um, <clears throat> Matt, what what do you think of WandaVision? <laughs> I got to be honest. Like, okay, so WandaVision was one of those where, like, the first two episodes, I was like, you know what? I think I'm over Marvel. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I have yeah. Marvel bones in me. I think Endgame was, like, my let go of Marvel. <laughs> And, you know, and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to give WandaVision a try. Why not? You know, because I kind of like, you know, I think with Disney, Marvel, you know, they were trying to accommodate with COVID and everything. I know they were planning all this in 2019, but uh, or even 2018, maybe. Who knows? Um, But, you know, I think it worked out that, you know, when COVID came, they were working on the TV series because then they could take more precaution and everything. But. When WandaVision started, the first two were just too cheesy for me. I know it was a change. I know they were, you know, turning things around to do, uh, to 
for a different take. I can tell with every Marvel show now Mm -hmm. that they're trying to do something different. I can appreciate that. Yeah. Like they're trying to steer away from the old Marvel formula Mm -hmm. because, you know, they got all the way to end game and they made what, $10 trillion (laughs) off that. (laughs) So I'm like, you know, they can afford, it's kind of like Nintendo. They can do whatever they want now. They can afford it. (laughs) All the Marvel movies. Throw it out there. Let's do it. it out there. Lamp. (laughs) I love it. Lamp. I love it. When can we have it? (laughs) It's all about the merch. So, but, but with WandaVision, it just, to me, it took too long to get to the end. And then when it got to the end, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. You know, like, all right. Like, I, I did I, I did like the fact, I did like the fact that uh, she already had, like, you know, witch magical powers in her blood. That's why she was able to survive the stone change. Mm-hmm. That kind of gave it a cool <laughs> little... Magneto type. Yeah, kind of like, well, you mis- know, it, like that's Donald why Magneto. she was able to so, ex- take the change. I think the show was more, it really was kind of not not only origin based, but also a growth, fa- you know, mm-hmm. based, you know, so we got to see, we got to understand exactly, how, you know, more in depth of how she got her, how it came about her powers. And we got to understand, um, we got to watch her <clears throat> grow in her powers. And now... She's even going to grow when the next movie comes out. She's going to grow even more. Mm-hmm. So, because now she's got, now she knows how to enhance her her abilities. So now the sky's the limit because Kevin Feige is on record as stating that, in his opinion, in their right in the Mar- MCU, that he believes that currently she is even with Captain Marvel and Thanos w- were in the picture that she was the most powerful. <clears throat> oh yeah, but she just didn't understand how her powers work well and in all the movies she never was called called the scarlet witch right she was wanda Wanda maximoff so i think we're gonna find out the true and that's where we're gonna get the the multiverse of madness yes i think but i mean i also have another thing with loki with all that oh yeah it's like loki you think one thing and now with loki you're like oh okay (laughs) all right right i think another thing so um what do you think about uh, White Vision? Well, I the only thing that really confuses me is his head because he's supposed to have sorry he's supposed to have the stone in his head and he doesn't have it, so there's nothing powering him that we can visually see. It's just like an empty hole. Well, so he I'm had like, a blue stone here. It but, was just blue <clears throat> energy. There wasn't an actual stone. But in Infinity War, they were saying that. The stone wasn't what made vision vision. Right. That right. the stone there was, was just, that theory, but yeah. they just never could yeah. get to it <clears throat> because they were going to try to separate him right. from it. Separate him from it. That was just the thing that was giving him his powers, though. I think the stone is what gave vision life, kind of like and Frank and White Vision. To life. White vision. It's not about a stone because he was created from power generated from the stone. That right. The tesseract. <laughs> right. And you got to think about it too, uh, Wanda and uh, <clears throat> Captain Marvel. You know, got their powers from, from stones, the stones, but yeah. they, they, the stones are not a part of them. Yeah, that's why in the Infinity War they were trying to separate it. Yes, they, they said Vision is his own. Yeah, yeah. it's his own thing. He's a multi, is a complex, <clears throat> multi layered, you know, being, being brought to life by the stone and given powers by the stone, <clears throat> but a, a, a combination of you know different people. I got no opinion because I couldn't care less about white vision. White vision. Oh, yeah, I get you. I'm like, yeah. I, I'm at this point where I'm like, I want all new characters. Yeah. Like, well, and I'll tell you, that was actually with all new characters. Okay, That's, so I have a theory about that. So I'm sorry. I didn't no, mean to good. cut you off. You're good. Um, I believe they're really concerned about, they were really concerned about how well the TV universe was going to do. And I think they're trying to use the uh you know a lot of the set what the, what i would consider the secondary not the primaries it's not the captain america it's not iron man it's not thor um it's the the secondary characters that are still powerful um to try to power the tv universe to mm-hmm. hand it off to the next generation and i think they they figured out with um agents of shield and they figured out with the <clears throat> defenders series and mm-hmm. all them that the characters for TV weren't strong enough. Right. Yeah. That, I mean, and Netflix, the, the agent, of the shield is the main one. Yeah. <clears throat> they realized that 
nobody really gives a crap. I mean, the, after the first couple seasons and after you figured out how Coulson came back, yeah, nobody, everybody, everybody nobody gave cared. up. Yeah, nobody that. cared. Like. There was no, I and mean, I kind of think they some of the things they tried on that show it just failed. Like well, they, they brought, when they brought in Ghost Rider, it failed. The the thing I think Agents of Shield failed was I think from the plant from the beginning was to bring some of the heroes into the show, mm, like yeah. Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, like to. But to, they never did. But it. they never did it. And then when they veered off from the whole Thanos thing at, towards the end, yeah, when they were like, oh, we're just going to pretend that the snap never happened. Right. Then yeah. they lost. They were lost. Yeah. yeah. You cannot pretend that that, that, that happened. happened. Yeah. Right? Especially when the <laughs> very thing is, well, especially the second snap is what brings us phase four. Yeah. So it's, I think they're, they're trying, they're, they've learned from their mistakes mm -hmm. that they did with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and they mm -hmm. did with the Netflix series. Right. That they're, they're, they've realized, okay, we have these secondary characters that aren't very big. Yeah. Let's make them big. Mm -hmm, let's right. and let's make them. You know, let's give Wanda her chance. Let's, but they've got, you know, they've got <clears throat> some very powerful things they can do now that you know X Men are in talks. Uh, Fantastic Four could be. You know, they've got uh, yeah. some really powerful people. Now I get, I get it. Those have already been done. I get yeah. that. Oh no, 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 no. You give me all the X Men you want. Okay, I thought you were about yeah. to put like no, well, no, 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 no. I'm so done with X Men. It depends on how you give. It depends on how they give it to us. It's got to be done right. It's got to be done right. Yeah, like, give me. Yes. You can't just say I that Charles Xavier and the, the X Men were sitting up in Northern New York during yeah. the entire Avengers battle, and we're like, no, see, I think I'm good, okay. guys. The Avengers got it. Me and Steel had this talk the other day, <clears throat> and <clears throat> like I was explaining how. I think with the multiverse of madness and this ripple effect that has mm. been sent throughout all the multiverses because of the stones being destroyed kind of brought like, like, um, uh, how do I explain? Like beings from this, from this <clears throat> multiverse or from this universe to this one. And nobody noticed because it already happened right. in yeah. time. Yes, because yes. when the multiverse is being destabilized, it affects how time is actually played. So one thing can happen, but then at the end of a certain timeline where like a ripple effect like that happens, no one would notice that yeah. something changed because that was originally how it played out yeah. because it changed. So when the stones were destroyed, it sent this ripple through time and then, then the X-Men were created in our universe. It, it only, it would had to have happened that way because uh, Wolverine apocalypse and a few others are like really old x-men mm -hmm. yeah and you know like it would have to have happened to where it rippled through time and that way we didn't know the difference and the reason i say that is because in Sp spider-man far from home that's why J. jonah, jonah jameson, jameson just appeared in this one because yeah. they they knew that that J. jonah jameson is from uh spider-man that what's Toby his name McGuire. Toby McGuire, McGuire spider-man right but because <laughs> it rippled the time he was always in okay hardy's or is right. it hardy what the other the young tom hardy no no no, no that's tom, tom holland tom, tom holland spider-man so tom hardy. <clears throat> that's before bad. we get down this rabbit hole of time travel yeah yeah because <laughs> i feel like it's coming yeah yes and there's gonna be some conversations that are heated oh yeah. not yes. heated Yes. But, but real quick, before we go back to all the time travel, I wanted to come back to that. How you felt about right. everything? WandaVision. Yeah, let's WandaVision. finish WandaVision. Let's finish. It, it, let's finish if, WandaVision. Let's finish Falcon Winter Soldier. Yes. and then when we get into Loki, let's get into the time travel. Yeah. Okay. So, in, but in in short, in my opinion, for the, as far as where I'm concerned with WandaVision, again, I was kind of like where Matt was at, where with the first two episodes, they were just really throwing me off as to where they were going with this. However, I will say, coming to an end with WandaVision, I liked how it ended mm -hmm. and the and that this was basically a cry for help bubble of hers, or that's what it's made to look like. Like, she is <clears throat> sad that he is no longer a thing, and, and this was a big, just personal cry for help, building a, a shield around herself 
kind and of I, kind of a create your own world, which yes. is what WandaVision yes. right. Wanda Vision. Yes, Wanda. What Scarlet Witch is is she she has the powers to create whatever she wants out of nothing. Yes, <laughs> but I will say, as far as creating characters, like we were talking about, let's get new characters, let's do this. I tell you, that was one thing that you know I kept hearing inklings of. Oh well, maybe this was all a bigger plan from Mephisto. But we have heard nothing of the sort. Well, I mean, and that was no more really of a thing. They were just they were just little they sprinkled, sprinkled. <clears throat> but and we and then I thought we were going to get Mephisto a little bit in Loki, but we'll talk about that yeah. a little bit too. Um, but other than that, though, I again once once we got through this whole thing about it being a television show and like an old television show, and I got my head wrapped around it. I began to be I, more okay with admit, the setting. I admit that it started slow. It did. I, I, I mean, it was the first one very. out of the box, and it started very slow. <clears throat> I appreciated the different presentation, but I admit it was super slow and yeah. super hard to stay focused on. Mm -hmm. uh, I completely admit that. But now that I've seen the ending of WandaVision, it makes me appreciate the beginning a little bit more. But I will also say, sorry, just real quick, I will also say, I, I was a little, uh, um, as far as a something I didn't really like about the show, I hate the fact that her kids were brought into this as a as a thing in her mind and not a real thing because her kids are in the comic book. See, they are. I, I think they're going to come because I, I of the ripple that, effect. Like <clears throat> I think because she's made of the stones. Yeah. Yeah. And that they will the become a thing of the entity. Yeah, I think, I think something's going to come yeah. with the kids because well, I think a lot of people... Because that's two potential future characters that you it, can build. Also, it is. also, too, they weren't shown disappearing at the end. They walked out of the room, right? They didn't show the kids fading off. Well, they showed the whole house fade away. Basically, the whole house fading yes, away. but they didn't show the kids, so maybe the kids The kids had to vanished. go the house. I don't know. Maybe they went into the time vortex. I don't know. Yeah, but <laughs> she made a big deal out of wanting the kids. Yes. The Very other witch. So I it's think like... The kids are going to play, like, so the multiverse. Oh, we'll get back into the kids when we start <laughs> right, talking about right, the multiverse. Right, right. I, am up, <clears throat> I, I am upset of the wasted opportunity on Quicksilver. Oh, big time. Yeah. yeah. And, yes, big But time. I did really like the Monica Rambo origin. Yeah, like, I was really cool. liked that how they cool. did that. <clears throat> that was good. Really I'm probably so, the only one here who was okay with Vision coming back. Because I don't think Vision had enough time in the movies for us to really appreciate yeah i don't think he really did so. see, and i and but see on that i'm like like I, i've honestly had enough of all these characters like i you know even uh sam wilson becoming captain america i'm like eh. see, i enjoyed it but i'm like i there's so many other characters that we could right. like uh shang chi i can't uh, tell you how excited i oh, am because man. this is a brand, new character. a brand new character he's a very powerful character it's a very unique character i'm like Man, Man, out of everybody, the Eternals. I'm like, out of everybody they could have yeah. picked out of the universe, they picked these are you very unique characters. And I'm like, this is what we need. And I'm the opposite. I saw the trailers for Shin Chi, and I'm like, I could care less. See, and I, I'm excited. I was like, I was like, yeah. I mean, it. but I also felt that way when I first saw the Guardians. So of the Galaxy trailer. I'm really, I'm, and I absolutely <laughs> love the Guardians. On, one second. Um, I was really, uh, I was happy that they brought Vision back the way they did, and now he's gone again. Because, I, again, and back to my theory that they're going to use these characters to hand it off to the next generation. So I would be okay if the White Vision became a bad guy. Well, it's well, possible. It's still possible. True. He's got all what were you going to say, Steel? <laughs> Put him on the spot. Dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Got to jump in. Hey, there's dogs there's in dogs the house. Here. Hey. Bentley agrees with Steel. Yes, he does. No, but with with White Vision, just with Vision in general, I'm just I'm I'm over all these characters. I'm like, like okay, so whatever Marvel spits out, mm -hmm. we're gonna watch. Of course, I mean they have earned my trust that they can make anything out of anything, and I'm gonna spend my time watching it. So yep. Like, mm -hmm. uh, what? I was gonna say something about Shang Chi. I. The only thing I'm really excited for about Shang-Chi is the fact that it has a lot to do with the Ten Rings. Like, most of it 
is the Ten Rings, and I'm just really excited to learn more about them because we only get to see them a few times in the Iron Man movies. Well, we, we don't we get a lot the on fake, them. It was, yeah, it was, it was the yeah, fake I'm like, the thing I want out of this movie is I want a real Mandarin. Yes, yes. big time. See, and, I, and with because Marvel is so sneaky, you're wondering if this Mandarin is from a different universe yeah. because in this universe we had a fake Mandarin right. that was just created and you wonder if this Mandarin oops sorry it was brought from another universe because of the ripple and the mm. ma- right. multiverse madness now you know Marvel has wasted some opportunities and in yeah. the past they have kept a lot of good things secret so you never know what they're going to do mm-hmm. but that would be really cool if they intertwined the multiverse of madness with the Mandarin from a different multiverse and all that good stuff. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool to see. I like, I like how they, I like, I like how, um, uh, I think it was the Russo brothers who really did it. Well, was they actually, uh, threw stuff in the trailers that wasn't in the movie to throw you off. I like how they do that. Cause I love, and I don't, I purpose purposefully, it's something for something I haven't watched yet. I purposely avoid any avenue to get spoilers. I I'm not one who seeks the spoilers before it. I don't, I'm, I don't yeah, want I don't that. Do I want to be either. surprised. And I love the fact that they were doing that. That was really awesome. Yeah. I mean, we got, we don't have no Russo brothers. No, no, more. no, 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 all right, let's get into Falcon Winter Soldier. Well, let's get into this. Let's get into Jeez. Falcon Winter Soldier. Okay, I'm going to start this one off. Okay. Because <laughs> well, I watched the entire thing. Oh, calm down. Calm down. I watched the thing in its entirety. Speedy. So, so do we. We just watched it one recently. one night. <laughs> no. Uh, other than the opening scene with Falcon, you know, trying to obtain the military man, yeah. which very cool opening scene. Mm-hmm. Another TV show that started off slow to me, in my opinion. Now, to cover all the bases, we can get into details first. One, it started off slow. Two, I want more understanding for whoever created, because I'm not sure who did this TV show, but I want to understand why they changed so many things. Like, for instance, the Flag Smasher. Well, one, they're now a group in the TV show. When in the comic book, it is one person. Right. Two, it's Carl Morgenthau in the comic book, and they made it Carly. So they changed, so they did it a gender oh, yeah, swap, which did. I'm fine with that. As a matter of fact, I'm actually more okay with that because that plays emphasis on how strong the super serum is right. by giving it to everybody and showing what they can do with that serum. Mm-hmm. But in the comic book, you had one man who created a, a whole team called the Ultimatum. But instead of doing any of that, you made them, you just named them all the Flag Smashers and just called it a corporation. Just, I think it's just easier. I think it is. And I think that's what they were going with. Um, it just brings more of like, um, like in the comic, it was one person, but it just brings like a newer aspect to mm-hmm. different characters like they were able to bring in new characters that may not have as an important effect on the entire greater universe but they were able to bring in more characters yeah. to create a bigger more mcu yeah. type take on that one character. well if you actually yeah, and there's also it makes you wonder if carly is even really dead because if you re again if you read the comic books and of course, that's a totally different setup. If you go all the way down the rabbit hole, it actually ends up one the the original Carl ends up <clears throat> coming a full circle around to where he actually ends up having to battle his own creation of the ultimatum. Uh, and in the timeline of the comic books, doesn't die until he meets Domino. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, talk about a character I want in the MCU. Oh my oh, yeah. god! <clears throat> yes, um, for me, Falcon Winter Soldier. Okay, I'm trying to do this the best. <laughs> it's a say. Go ahead. <clears throat> the first, I, I think me and you agree a lot. Yeah, on the, the, the first episode. Okay, and I'm I'm probably one of the maybe I don't know if Matt's on all the stuff with the Falcon and like. His sister yeah. can't get alone, and I, I just don't care. Yeah, Be- right. Because I, I, I use these because I watch Marvel because it's not real. Mm-hmm. And you're not going to tell me that he couldn't went to Pepper that's Potts. That's exactly what I was <clears throat> going to ask. Yeah, it's like um, you're not going to recognize the Falcon, and, and if he needs money, he could go to Pepper and be ex- like, "Hey, yes, um, 
I need money. And Pepper, you think Pepper been like, nah, Sam, we we I, ain't got you. I, I did the catch giant that. They, check Spider-Man they were really so. I think that the director was really trying, and because I think I think that's a I think that's just trying to show how proud he was I, as a character. Yeah, he didn't want a free handout because he. I mean, you know, he probably knew he could get a free handout, but he wanted to earn it, and you know. It's just, you know, it's like, hey, they were just trying to show the human side. I think with this show, they were really trying to show the human side because he's not, he didn't take a serum. He doesn't have mega power. Uh, he's, I a, mean, he's a human. He's just a very skilled human. I get it. But it's, it's like in the, in the Marvel comic book movies, I don't, I don't need that. Mm -hmm. Like you're not giving me anything by doing that. Or that much of it. <clears throat> right. Like, uh. Like okay, they, like if his if, if if his sister's business, their family business is about to go mm -hmm. go down, then let that be a side thing. Be like, oh, we're gonna lose the business, but I gotta be, I got, I, I gotta try to be, um, I got, I gotta try to to do my job. I gotta try to be the soldier I'm supposed to be, and then at the end, let Pepper walk in or somebody like, oh, hey, this is from the Stark Foundation, or this right. is, you know, gotcha. it's like, I, be the hero that I'm. <coughs> Yeah, yeah. So not it's, the one it right. It's it's like the one it deserves. I, I just I'm didn't. I didn't. That whole first episode, I'm just like, and even the scene that you're talking about, where yeah. he's going helicopter to helicopter, helicopter to, to helicopter. helicopter. Yeah. To yeah. Heli I'm like, <sighs> okay. So I I liked the show because I liked how it was presenting. I I. I I'm not, I could give or take the whole human human sides, showing the human side. I don't really have a strong opinion one way or another. What I really liked about the show was giving background on on their experimentation in the program with the serum. Yeah. And showing the other Captain America <laughs> or experimentations that actually took place. I'm not as fluent on the comics as you guys are, um, but showing that there are others, that were others out there. Um, After the first two episodes, it's great. Mm -hmm. It's 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 almost like one division. When you got past the first two, well, you, they yeah. have to, they always have when the new shows. They're trying really hard. Yeah, but they try too much. They're, stuff. Try, they're trying too hard. Too, they're trying too, too hard. Too much of not. I'm trying to figure out the best word to say. This. Okay, I'm gonna say this, and Do it's it. gonna be very controversial, mm -hmm. and I'm not sorry for saying it. Okay, to me, Captain and Winter Soldier was. MC, it was Disney's MCU sorry for not having more black characters in the MCU. Just like at the end of M Game, mm -hmm. where they had a whole female scene, mm -hmm. was saying, sorry, we yeah, didn't have yeah. enough female lead roles in the MCU. These are their ways of saying sorry. If because and if you look at Captain and Winter Soldier, it was all about Falcon. a black man being an Avenger. Yeah. It was all about a black man becoming the Captain America. Captain there America. was a huge racial tension portion of this. Yes, and they made that they made that about the sister and him getting alone mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. he made it all about yeah. him being yes. black because it wasn't about him being an Avenger or anything. They made it to where uh, help me out the red, white, and truth Captain America that US was agent? the U.S. agent. No, the. The first black Captain America that was oh, from the yeah. the guy who was 40s. talking about the Tuskegee. I can't remember his name, but it was from the Red, White, and Truth comic book of the yeah. first black Captain America. He was like Captain America before Cap Captain yes. America became him, or you know after you know because Captain That's America. That's the element was gone. that I actually liked was hearing more about that story. I did, I did like that, but then you know it just became too political. Like you know, Micah says, like I, I don't need all that real stuff. I'm sorry, like I'm not Disney MCU. I think I think there should have been more black characters. I can't, I cannot wait for Blade. Blade was one of the first Marvel mm -hmm. black right. characters, that, and they're some of my favorite movies. You know, like yes, like Disney is late to the party. This is their apology, and like they made that entire show about that. Like, and the way they did it was was great. Like when Sam finally gets the costume and gets the shield and finally decides he wants to be Captain America yeah. needs to be, they did it perfectly. That was amazing. They did it like, I mean, I get goosies just thinking about it. It I just, just think took they, too long to get there. And they made it too political and yeah. they made it too real when they could have, like they could have, they could have done the whole, like, you know, America is not ready for a black Captain America thing, but they, didn't have to make an entire show out of it. It could have been one episode, and I'd be like, 
Yeah, I get it. Like, because one episode, I don't know if you noticed, had like six Captain Americas in it. Right. Like, different people that had played Captain America at one time. Yeah. Or at one time or another. But with him being, with Sam Wilson being the focus, like, they could have done one episode, but it was like from beginning to end, like, I get it. Like, this is like, it just seemed like Disney's apology, Disney's apology to me for well, not having more of a black of a black character lead well i think they whoever wrote the story was really going for the realism and that's it seems like to be the overtone that everybody didn't really like they want the suspension of disbelief they you know yeah, they, to they, that's they, not they want they want the powers they want the ex- mega explosions and all that good stuff and the magic and all the, everything else that goes with it um but i think that's really what the writers were going for was portraying the realism behind this character and trying to emphasize the fact that he is human. He doesn't have, he didn't take a serum and he doesn't have superpowers. He's just, he's an average everyday human. He's Mm -hmm. just a highly trained, highly skilled human, but nonetheless human. And they, they really tried to hone in on that, that one focus. I did like, I did like how they turned him into Captain America. For one, his costume is point for point off the cover of, him becoming yeah. Captain America. The only difference yeah. is the red wings. He doesn't have the red one. But other than that, I yeah, other than that, made, like, made by Wakanda. I love how they did some looking. Yeah. So it's got all the news. It's going to have all the new technology added to it. And they made it to where it was like you said, all his skill and not mm-hmm. not yeah. superpowers. So, right. uh, you know, he just has his wings. Like yeah. that just right. sets him apart from Captain America. And you know. That he's, <laughs> that he's a black man that is Captain America. But mm-hmm. here's the other, other thing is like, I'm, I'm over, I'm over this. Like I'm over Winter Soldier. I'm over Sam Wilson. I'm over Wanda. I'm over Vision. I'm like, these are characters again, we've already had. Like, I know. But again, I think they're just, they were too scared that I think they wanted to they come wanted, out of the box. Yeah. <clears throat> they, they want wanted to keep established it. characters that people would care about. To me, these aren't established characters. These are all secondary characters. They're I trying know. to float a lifeboat on. To me, I'm like, well, they're given their like they're giving these characters their due that I don't think they got in the movie. Right, right. I don't <laughs> care about their due. I don't care enough about them to be really be, like like Sam Wilson will always be Captain America's sidekick. Like, even when he became Captain America, he wasn't Captain America that long. He went mm-hmm. back to being the Falcon. And, like, if he... Now, if he went back to the Falcon and want to lead, I'd be, like, more interested. Did Bucky ever pick up the mantle in the yes, comics? Bucky, in the comics, he yeah. did. I don't know if they're going to run with it in the well, show. Well, see, that's what I thought they were going to do in the movies. That was no. my theory, um, was that they were he was going to hand it off, pass, the, pass it on to Bucky. That's my dad I, had a theory that... Back before, like when Avengers Infinity War, we were going to see it. Yeah. He had a theory that Captain America was going to die and Iron Man was going to give the shield to Bucky and like yeah. say like Captain America. I subscribe to that. I, I thought I, I felt like that would have been just a perfect oh, way man. for them to mend. <clears throat> and, you know, it would have been a lot better than that crap they did with Captain America. OK, but oh, let's can we Hulk, lead Hulk. into Loki? Let's get to yes. Loki because they're the, the whole time thing can i lead on this one because loki tell him about what we saw okay so there's a scene where he was being interrogated but he uses the little reversey thing because he steals it and he goes back to that hallway and he has no idea where he is and then you see that yeah you see peggy Uh, carter or somebody who looks like peggy carter go through the time door and my dad paused it to see and it looked like she had handcuffs so i just naturally thought it was like a variant but when she starts moving she doesn't she's one of them so there's a like a theory that like does she work for the TVA? Like, does she eventually, like, is it a variant that does it? Like, Loki, he's working for the TVA now. And because she works for the TVA, that's why Cap was allowed to get away with it? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe, perhaps? Yeah, I think I, Cap works for the TVA. If you want me to accept that garbage <laughs> of Captain America going uh-huh. back and being with Peggy, yes. that would be the only way I would do it's it. Because it's because part she of was the picked TVA. out, picked out of the world to work for the to work with the TVA or somehow time traveled and she's working with the TVA like Loki is right and gets to go back to that time and maybe like warn cuz like all right so like it, it, if that was true what if Captain America in the end game went back with all intention 
of dropping the stone, but Peggy came out of the TBA and be like, don't go back. Stay with me. Hey, that could be. I will accept that garbage in in game (laughs) if that happens. That would be like the only fix. I'd be like, all right, then they involve they involve the multiverse of madness. Everything's going crazy. The time, yeah, time variance allowed this and all that. I'd be like, all right, I can let it go. See, I think here's a show. You ready? Yeah. This is this is a show that's that I think is going to happen on Disney Plus. Okay. Captain America, six episodes, taking the stones back and joining the TVA. And that's the only reason, the only way he gets to be with Peggy. He keep, They keep saying, I mean, they keep rumoring he's coming back, and then, then <laughs> Feige comes out and says, no, he's not coming back. Something that, I, that confused me is when he returns the stones, he just returns them in a case. He needs a tesseract, a scepter, he needs the orb, and he has to go talk to Red Skull. All of that. He never has <laughs> any of the actual objects he needs to do that. And he would have to go back in time multiple that's, different times to genius. get these objects. That is a great observation. That is really, that's, I never thought of that. Of so what if he had to go to the TVA to and get, get, to get those Because, things. you know, they have like a ton of different stones and they even have the This is all him. I didn't think of any of that. And mm-hmm. they even have a device that can like make living things reverse back in time to different positions and states they were at so they could do that with a stone or create some kind of overpowered device to do that to a stone to put it back to the way it was yeah yeah he would have to he'd have have to to. go to somebody like the tva or something yeah like i just think that you would have the to start the episode you have peggy and him dancing and then you have somebody come out of the tva and be like and if they do this you're gonna you would accept the way if they, they handled the TVA and them working with the TVA, I'll be okay with okay. it. Here's my one only weird plot hole of <laughs> of this whole this whole show. You had to be the one. I had to be the one, and it's it's funny. Maybe this could be discussed many of times, but it's funny because you you talk about Loki and the TVA when the way they describe it from the timekeepers is the all encompassing timeline the the yes. timeline right, the, the sacred, sacred, the sacred, sacred timeline. timeline and that there <laughs> and then mobius talks about how there is no there's no true freedom you can't veer off right but then if that's the case then how comes dr strange can see over 14 million outcomes of variations of endings that's because in that timeline are all the all universes in mm-hmm. that one yeah. timeline. They said yeah. that the, there was a multiverse, and then the, and they combined people, the yeah, multiverse they, they combined it into together. the all-knowing time. The same so, yeah. he's, so what he's doing put, is he's looking through different universes, and one of them is potentially ours, and he's just looking through the millions and millions to find which one is <laughs> ours. He just only finds one that we win that just happens to be ours. Okay, this is where me and Steel got into it the other night. I think you got in arguments with your son. What oh, kind yes. of father are you? And I win. He seeks me out. He seeks me time. out for these arguments. A normal one. So, <laughs> like, so, um, I think the TVA is a front. Yeah. I don't think it's a real <clears throat> thing. Like, I think it's a front for what? Kang. Okay, Kang, so if you watch, doctor. if you watch yeah, I, the beginning, I, I, yeah. I'm, I, there I was a war on yeah. the wall. Then the on the wall, there was a war that. that threatened to destroy everything. Okay, right. Mm-hmm. So I really think that there was a winner of this war and not yeah. a come together. I think this is like all the front, mm-hmm. and I think there's an, an a more like powerful being could be Kang, could be Kang the Conqueror, could be that someone is keeping all this in a front for Galactus. Well, you know, Galactus. Galactus. you know, in the comic books, Kang and his actual stronger variant, Immortus, battle each other and use people as chess pieces. And if you look at the timekeepers, they look like <laughs> Kang. Yeah. yeah, one of them did, and I don't know if there's something going to come of it, but they tell the story of the three timekeepers. But when you look, when you look at on the city, there's the statues. There's only two, it's and because they're in a triangle. One's behind it. It's just you can't see it. 
I went back and looked. I couldn't see three. You can only see two. I know and you why? can only see two because it's because they're in a triangle statue. So you would see these two, but not this one because it's behind. But why the wall. are they only presenting two and not three? They are presenting three. It's in a triangle. You can't see it. No, he's saying in the camera angle they're showing two, but there's one hidden. Like there, the third is there, but it's not in the camera view. So it's if like you want to present, why are they hiding it? to be shown? Yeah, yeah. Why are they hiding it? Why are they alluding to? I know, don't not. Okay, that I third see your one. point. I, just I see a point, and I raise you two points. I'm okay. asking questions. I just, I just don't I'm think curious. it's that much of a big deal. Okay, so the statue, it's in like I the... I think there is a big deal, because I think I think there was a conflict between the time <coughs> I, I think I don't think they're there, because, yeah. you know, they're doing that thing where... Uh, you can never see them. You can never see them. Like, why can't you see them? I don't think they're there. They're kind of like Captain Marvel. So and why, the... and why did they create all humans to work for them? Okay, yeah. and, no, and so if they're not there, where is the power coming from? Good question. This is where we got into an argument. I go like, this doesn't make any sense. It's got to be like WandaVision. It just doesn't have the power inside this thing. Yeah. Because how... how the, and this is where he's going to jump in. How... How can you have the TVA and this all-powerful area mm -hmm. and the stones have no effect inside? Because in order to control a stone on Earth or anywhere throughout the <clears throat> universe that, or the multiverse even that the stones created, you have to have a magical object that can harness the power of an infinity stone. Like, So if you see somebody using an infinity stone every single time they're using an almighty powerful vessel you never see a stone used without a vessel okay. the infinity god but that doesn't the matter infinity god in, counts cuz they're I, using I've got it. your answer for that right now in the TVA, they have the Tesseract <laughs> and they have a stone, and ne none, neither one of them have power. Yes, because no I have the answer to that question. Yeah, okay. So the <laughs> I have yeah, the answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> and so in the TVA, you can't use magic. The stones are magic. So you have... No, okay, so the stones, you would think that even if they created reality, you have to have a vessel to use them. So even if you can use them in the TVA, you have to have a I've magical vessel, vessel. But the vessel can't be used because it is magic, and therefore it can't harness the power of the stone to be able to use it. You Does that make sense? No sense because... You ready? I'm about to sum it up for you. you okay, ready? sure. Go ahead. The TVA is in the quantum realm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. The quantum realm, because the quantum realm is time. Right, that is, we figured out that that when Ant Man was in the quantum time realm, time works differently. <clears throat> time yeah. works differently in yeah. the quantum realm. Five realm. minutes is on Earth is five years. It's five years. No, it's five hours. Five hours. Five the, hours. the TVA. Yeah. That'd be cool. The, that the whole city is in the quantum realm, and I believe we saw it in Ant Man and Wasp. Okay, but that still doesn't explain why the stones would have no effect on anything. Because the because. stones are in time. And in time, you can't use. But them. the stones invented time. <laughs> yes, but there is a time stone. What the hell, people? Yes, but you have to have a magical vessel to use the stone. And if you can't use magic in the TVA, the magical vessel can't control the stone, and therefore the stone is utterly useless because there's nothing time, to control it. In time, you speak of a magical real quick. You speak of a magical vessel to use the stone. Nuclear, nuclear stone. vessels. Nuclear, nuclear vessels. 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 Okay. Vessels. So for the space stone, there's the tesseract. Mm -hmm. For the time stone, there's the Gaia Bagamoto. Mm -hmm. For the Mind Stone? Yeah, the Mind the Stone. Staff. There was the Staff. staff. Yeah. For the uh, Reality Stone, there was the Aether. Mm -hmm. For the Aether. Orange... Aether. The Soul Stone, there was no magical vessel that it was it put in, but you had to put it in the Infinity Gauntlet to use it. Yeah, see, and that's a magical theory, vessel that your, you had to use. Your theory is wrong, though, because... What about <clears throat> Thanos was able to pull it and use it against and use it against him? That's against correct. The and because he put it okay, in his true. hand, yes. will the power and punched him. I've been face. saying this crap. And and, 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 and now Tony Stark and used it. He didn't have a magic vessel. And <laughs> when it, Star Lord used it in his bare hands and just held hands with people. Yes, but he wasn't using its magic. It was literally just killing. Uh, but that's, that's what he I'm was saying. just no, sharing. No, no, no. They used the power to destroy. They used the power to destroy him. To to him. Him. And I've been saying this, child, 
And it's you not haven't even, said no. anything they said. Not I one said, thing. I brought up. I didn't bring up the uh, Thanos, but I brought this. up the yes, Guardians of the Galaxy. I okay. <laughs> I see every every uh, I see every point except for the Guardians of the Galaxy because the Guardians of the Galaxy weren't using the power. They yes, were they sharing they the they power so they would die. They, they, they destroyed Rome. That all aside. That all aside. Thanos and the Guardians of the Galaxy using the power. That aside. Let's say that never happened. The fact that people touch it and it almost destroys anything if you're not powerful enough to wield it, it doesn't even do anything when they're just rocks in a box, like in the TVA. Nothing happens. But in every it's other just, world, you touch it, you, you touch die. it. And if it created time, then it had to have created the TVA. Okay, if it created the TVA, it obviously wouldn't. It, so, okay, so the TV, it created the TVA. I agree with that because it created existence in general that means the stones sorry that means the stones would have purposefully created the very magic that would prevent their usage so there's obviously some sort of reason that is going to be revealed somehow because they would have we they would have done that purposefully i also have another theory that can be canceled out because of the numbers i did have kind of a theory that the timekeepers were just when the stones created reality they took the living forms in the image of what they created the humans the only problem with that is that there were three mm -hmm. not six it's the only problem three timekeepers Three timekeepers. Yeah. I had a theory that the stones were like the living carnations uh, of, of the but stones. There's only three, but there's only six. three. My only my only theory is that because there's only been two episodes, yeah. is that the Grand Master used to work for the TBA and he found out what was going on and he stole an artifact and then he went to that And that's how planet, he has the staff. And that's staff. how he has the, the staff that just destroys people. and <laughs> The melt stick. And <laughs> he goes, time works differently here. Yeah. That is true. Uh, that's so true. But there's the also same. that that's giant true. little red hole. There's that giant red hole in the sky. So that... The devil's anus. Yeah, yes. the day I'm, just not, I'm just not gonna yeah. say that. But I have another theory. So we were talking about the time ripple. What if the thing that I'm not gonna say out loud is <clears throat> the devil's anus? Yes. yes. Please. You can say the devil's anus. It's not the a devil's bad word. thing. The devil's right. devil's what? Anus. There. Thank you. Devil booty. What if <laughs> <laughs> the DB? The DB. <laughs> the devil butt. <clears throat> when you guys are done, I have something that'll blow your mind. Okay. Okay. So what if that is what, like a ripple in reality, what if that specific planet or reality in that universe is just a ripple in reality and that's why time doesn't work the exact same there because it's being rippled by time and that's why trash just keeps piling from the sky because it's being rippled through time so portals will just randomly open at any point, at any time that's possible because Reality has no control over it. I like I like the theory that they're in the, that the TVA is in the quantum realm. That is that's pretty that cool. is kind of, that is that's a pretty, pretty smart cool. theory because. And does anybody else notice that Owen Wilson's character's name is Mobius? Of the like Mobius a Mobius strip, of the like Mobius a Mobius strip, strip which is yeah. how Tony Stark figures out time travel. Because when he looks at the mm -hmm. picture, it's flipped upside down. I've told that to my dad. He didn't understand a word I said. <laughs> I understood <laughs> that. <laughs> yes, he, he I just believe gives you that, the glossy eyed look. I believe that the TVA is inside the quantum realm. Mm. That's, I do. That's I do. Cool. Cool. And that's how, and that's how they're able to fluctuate through time and open up portals and do. Was, it. The, was the Mobius only... thing the thing you said is going to blow our minds? No. Oh, our, okay. So give us the blow our minds. Can theory. I say something? Oh yeah, sure. sure. I do just have one specific question if time is in the like they, they're in the quantum realm the way tony stark with the mobius strip and stuff the way he figures out time travel is to use the shrinking device to yeah, shrink but i think they have their own yes but the time <clears throat> door my only question is time doors how does that work it ha uses what seems to be completely different energy it's reformed matter to be they, able to do they, such they different out, things i think they figured out how to use the quantum flux to open a door just like Hank okay Pim okay so i can see that point because when uh, <coughs> tony stark they use the shrink machines have, they're standing on a giant thing yeah, have, that basically opens that a time the, the door TVA, they just have more advanced technology yes, the, so they're the able TVA, to control it was built in the quantum realm so they understand the quantum realm remember tony stark and ant-man and all of them don't understand the quantum realm they finally they've just tapped just put their toe in the quantum realm 
Yeah. <clears throat> can we before we put a bow on it though? Can we all agree that um, of the three shows that Loki's um, the best? I think I think Loki's the best, but also and I, I think, don't Tom, think Lady Loki is Lady Loki. I no. think she's in Trancers. Yeah, but I think Tom Hiddleston's got the most star power out of everybody they've used so far. And you oh, can yeah. tell they put more money in Loki. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. oh gosh! I do yeah. like the theory of Lady Loki being Enchantress because yeah. doesn't Enchantress okay. kill Loki? Here, here's the thing that before we put a bow on it, so. We watched this episode, this last episode when Owen Wilson signed in the thing and he's like, oh, Franklin Roosevelt High School, this must be your other analyst. I think that's Cap and that Cap's going to show up in the show. You think? Really? Yep. I think that's where we find out that he works for the TVA and that he's the other analyst and that's how they're going to explain. I think I think Chris Evans came and filmed. It's not going to be big. It's not going to be a big, you know three, four episodes, mm-hmm. he's going to come in, save the day for something, and be wearing, because in, in Endgame, he's wearing a jacket that yeah. looks like the TVA jacket. Okay. Or what if, and, and maybe uh, that's what he had to go at the end of Endgame, or maybe he talked with Peggy somehow in another variant situation, worked a deal with the TVA that if you let us win this battle, I will bring the stones to you. You help me put them back. And I'll work for you. Yeah, I think that's the only way because it makes no sense. And that's how, how you, you get this? all of your magical relics. <laughs> yeah, it's back. like, how do you have this Loki show where you're explaining that the timeline can't be changed? Timeline yeah. can't be changed. And then you have this major movie where Cap just changes it. <clears throat> I think that he is going to be, he is the analyst that is helping the TVA get to where they need to go. Maybe that's how the TVA got him. <clears throat> Because he went back and tried to change something, and when you change yeah. something, that goes yes. against the Nexus effect. I right, think he put everything him. back. He put mm-hmm. all the stones back. He put everything back where it needed to be. He put Millionaire back. So, <clears> so <throat> maybe, so maybe in that theory, um, when he's going back to correct the timeline, maybe they, the TVA or Peggy from the TVA, step in and inter- intercept him on his way back. And then they help him. They guide him on his way to, here's what you're going to need. Here's how we're going to have to do this to make it all right. That explains a lot, actually, because they just have like a drawer of Infinity Stones. But they've been dealing with variants for what might even be <clears throat> there infinite many variants years. Of the stones. So how do they only have just a couple variants of the stone? Maybe they gave like a Tesseract, a Scepter, and a few of the things he needed to go back to go, to go back but they right. would have intercepted him on his journey, journey back back and helped him and guided him and said look we're gonna here's what we're gonna do we're gonna help you get this all done but you got to do it the way we tell you to do it and it, to make it all right that's the, possible because remember when he's supposed to put the tesseract back mm-hmm. what if peggy finds him while he's doing that tells him about the tv yeah, she, she was on that she was on that base yeah she, she was, was should have been on that base so she could have <laughs> like been investigating why the Tesseract is just poof gone. Yeah. And then he comes back all of a sudden, tries to put it back. Anybody he notice needs a Tesseract. The list of na- the list when the Nexus started breaking that Boromir was on it. I did not see Boromir? that. I didn't see it. Boromir is when you know when the, the, the bombs drop and you start seeing the Nexus break. Yeah. And yeah. it's a list of like all the anomalies. And Boromir, Boromir? Boromir was on the list. No, nah, I didn't notice that. <clears throat> Interesting. I think, I think he's gonna go back and one of the things Loki's gonna do is he's gonna save Black Widow. And we're going to get a Black Widow variant. All right, let me ask you mm. this. This is a stretch, but it's only because I'm sitting here thinking at the end of Endgame where Captain America comes back. He never stands up. No. And he doesn't look as big as he should be, even for Captain America. Because with the serum, you never lose your muscle. You get old, but you never lose your muscle. He doesn't look big. Mm. What if no, he went he back? Doesn't. What if he, he went back and never took the serum? Ooh. <clears throat> you know, like and what lived if they a normal life and lived a normal life. That's interesting because in the in Falcon and Winter Soldier, that old man was still built and had all his yes. powers. Yeah, that's like he was should have never. But lost he, they his. did not present him that way at the end of Endgame. So but that's a cool theory. I never thought about that. My only thing with that is, by the time they were putting the serum in, putting the serum in was still like a difficult test. No one had really figured out. They had no way to take it out, so he would never have been able to take it out but no, there is a, but there is another theory before he takes I know, this serum. I know but there is an but he would he would be looking at himself so that would but here is another theory 
what if when Tony when he goes back, he takes the serum out of them, gives it to Shield to put in Captain <coughs> America, and that's how he gets it out, and it actually works because that was how it worked in the original. No, but everything has changed now. We have the TVA that can reset the timeline. Yeah. What if they take him back, reset the timeline, and he they put him in there as himself, and he chooses not to take the serum. He keeps the shield because he took the shield back in time with him. That is how he still has the shield. Um, and they, they allow. And they allow. But if it reset the timeline, he would lose his memory because it would reset. No, him. they would reset the timeline. But he now works for the TVA. They can put him back in there, and maybe he got to choose his. I'm, this is all theory. But, but then Captain America never would get the serum, grow up to be mm. himself, choose to go back in time and do it. That would cause. But you also a, got another variant in this: is that um, the way they, the way that they really try to explain time travel in end game <clears throat> is that you don't go back to the past and change to change how things are altered you go back and create you're creating a new timeline so you're, you're creating you're not, your own future because the past a becomes completely your completely different future so number one the, i get the time the time the tva is going to have to allow it to happen well, there I mean, has to be a said, reason to happen they said when the what, when loki is like well, what about the avengers they, that was that supposed, supposed to, happen. to happen yeah that was supposed to happen because <laughs> they had to defeat thanos i think you know the the, the defeat Don't of thanos get me started on thanos coming to the uh, current time they wanted that to happen because they didn't want thanos to exist in that that's is this is why i think the tva is fake like i, I think it's a front like, but you don't they, have a theory as to it's a front four. Uh, like what? I'm, I'm not that smart. Like, <laughs> I, I would, need, I would okay. need something else to happen, and then uh, then I could be like, oh yeah, that that that's why. But right. the reason, like, because why would they let the event when? Because I said this, I go like, if they don't acknowledge the event, all the Avengers going back in time, and yeah. uh, nobody. They wanted that <laughs> to happen so they can beat Thanos, so they could take out Thanos and not have to worry about fighting them what? himself. Where, themselves. where was that during our argument? <laughs> when I said boom in your face, they mentioned the Avengers. Where he was said, that? Boom in, your face. boom in your face. I just thought of that. Like That would make sense of why they let that. Okay, happen. what's the next, besides Black Widow, because it's going back in the past, but what's the next Marvel movie? That's that's Doctor Strange 2, right? Is the uh, next no, Shang-Chi. 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 Shang-Chi is in September, and then Eternals is in November. Okay. Like uh, if, if Mike is right, then Black Widow will, will play a bigger part because if he goes back, saves mm-hmm. Black Widow, then the Black Widow movie will be kind of like a go back in time, but then all of a sudden it shows, like at the end, like her See, in this time. That's what I was really. always. I mean, like I've I've not I've been just kind of mediocre on Black Widow because I'm like, not because I don't think her character is not strong enough to hold a movie. I think her character is completely strong enough. But the timing of the release, what effect is it going to have in the overarching MCU? It's just you know where I stand on these returning characters. So So I just I don't know. I just I'm not I'm not I don't. My expectations are it's just going to be another blow them up action movie. That's going to if you just if you separate it from the MCU. Yeah, it's a great action movie, but that's it. It's not going to do anything to further the MCU. Or over arc story. I, I, I'll tell you where I stand on Disney right now. Yes. I'm already ready for season two of Bad Batch. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm at with Disney. Right now. All right. All right. Let's well, put a bow on this well, one. Yeah, let's end this one. Um, we we will come back to it again after Loki's done and we watch um, Black Widow. Absolutely. Um, okay. I don't know how Bye. to end this now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. See y'all. Live long and prosper. May the force be with you. you Oh, don't say those in the same sentence. Thank you for being a part of our show. Please visit ecpctv.com for information about our show and how to follow us on this epic journey. Stay eclectic. End program.